Hey, Allison, lend me some money, will you? I've got a trip coming up soon, and I'm a little short. My brother stopped lending me money recently, so I thought I'd ask you instead. You've got some cash saved up, right? I mean, you've got a job, and you don't have any kids, so you should be able to help me out, right? Scarlet, how can you even ask me for money right now? Did you not read any of my messages? Do you have any idea what kind of situation I'm in right now? Do you even know what's been going on? Huh? What are you talking about? Did you say something important? Oh, wait, is this about your dad or something? About my dad? I told you that my father passed away. I sent out messages to everyone, including your in-laws, so they should all know about it by now. Fred even sent out a message to remind everyone that the funeral is tomorrow. You must have seen it. Oh, yeah, I think I might have seen something about that. But, like, what does that have to do with me? What does it have to do with you? Scarlet, are you serious? Isn't there anything else you'd like to say? What? What are you talking about? You mean, like, my condolences or something? But honestly, would you even want to hear that from me? You'd know I didn't mean it, right? It's not about whether I'd be happy to hear it or not. It's about basic decency. It's the appropriate thing to say in situations like this. Even if you don't mean it, you say it out of respect. Ugh, I don't see why I'd need to follow basic decency when we're talking about family. Isn't it a bit over the top? That's not how this works, Scarlet. Decency and respect should apply, especially with family. It's called basic manners. Whatever, that is all boring stuff anyway, so can we drop it? Stop dragging things out. You're an only child, right? You didn't have any siblings, did you? Yeah, that's right. My father raised me on his own. He was the one person I could always rely on. The one who raised me after my mom passed away. I've already explained all of this. Don't you understand the weight of what I'm going through right now? Oh, well, too bad for you then. Honestly, that old man didn't matter to me at all. I never really knew him, so I don't care if he's gone. It's not like he was important to me. I see. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This is exactly who you've always been. I guess it was foolish of me to expect any different from you. But for the record, I can't lend you any money. Fred and I talked about it, and we've decided that we're not going to give you any more money. It's just not happening anymore. What do you mean, it's not happening anymore? What are you talking about? Scarlet, every time we've given you money, you've spent it on going out to clubs or blowing it on host. And you've never once repaid anything. We both know that. Not once have you even made an effort to pay us back. This isn't something we can keep doing. I hope you can understand that. But what about you? How much money are you going to get from all this? What? Money? What on earth are you talking about? I mean, you're the only child, right? There's got to be some inheritance, insurance payout, something like that, right? You're bound to get some cash out of this situation. If you don't need it, I can take it off your hands for you. Scarlet, what are you even talking about? What do you mean? I'm just making a helpful suggestion on what you could do with all that money. I figure I'd be able to put it to better use than you. <laughs> That's completely unnecessary. And honestly, none of your business. Look, I'm not asking you to come to the funeral or even pretend to care. But I did expect, at the very least, that you'd have some decency in this situation. I thought you could handle this like an adult. Clearly, I was wrong. As I said, I'm not lending you any money, and I'm definitely not giving you any inheritance. You can forget about that. Enjoy your trip wherever you plan on going with the money you somehow still have. I have no idea where you're getting it from, but go ahead and have fun. Scarlet's going on yet another trip now? Did you ever get back the money you lent her? No, I haven't gotten anything back. And now she's apparently going abroad this time. Honestly, I can't believe it. She's my sister, but this is ridiculous. I've decided to distance myself and never lend her money again. Abroad? Does she really have the money to travel like that? I have no idea, but if she's saying she's going, then she must have found a way to make it happen. And it makes me so angry thinking she's probably using our parents' money or even mine to make it possible. She actually messaged me just now asking for more money. Wait, what? Scarlet again? And at this moment of all times, she's reaching out to you? That's beyond inconsiderate. 
I'm so sorry you have to deal with this, especially now. It's not your fault. Honestly, I've had enough of Scarlet too. I don't even want to talk to her anymore, and I certainly don't want to see her. I know it's hard to say since she's your sister, but that's just how I feel. You don't need to apologize for feeling that way. If anyone should be apologizing, it's me. It's such a hard time for you, and you shouldn't have to deal with Scarlet's nonsense on top of everything else. I'll be back with you soon. For now, just ignore whatever she says, okay? Try to rest. If you need anything, let me know, and I'll pick it up on my way. Thank you. Actually, I'm not feeling great right now, so could you pick up some soda or something? I hate to trouble you, especially when you've got enough on your plate. No, I'm the one who should apologize. My sister's being a complete idiot, and I'm really sorry for that. I promise you won't have to deal with her anymore. I'll make sure she doesn't cause you any more trouble. Scarlet? What was that about earlier? Do you even realize what you've done? Showing up to my father's funeral wearing a Hawaiian shirt? I can't believe it. This goes beyond being rude and inappropriate. It's completely disrespectful. Fred and even Mom were shocked by your behavior. Huh? What's your problem? What exactly did I do? What's so bad about a Hawaiian shirt? I thought I looked pretty cute in red, didn't you? This isn't about whether you looked cute. It was my father's funeral. You showed up in a bright red Hawaiian shirt, like it was some sort of casual party. Are you mocking us? Oh my god, here we go. Fine, if you want me to apologize, I'll say it. Not that I feel bad or anything, but sorry. Does that make you happy? What is wrong with you? Why did you even bother coming? Because you told me I wasn't getting any inheritance, so I figured I could at least grab some condolence money. What's the big deal? I didn't think there was Scarlet? any sort of dress code for the occasion either. Wait, what? The condolence money? And for the record, funerals absolutely have a dress code. It's common sense, not something you should have to be told. Oh, you are so persistent. Fine, I'll apologize again, since clearly you didn't hear me the first time. Sorry for wearing a Hawaiian shirt to my father-in-law's funeral. But honestly, you should be grateful I even showed up. I was on my way to Hawaii anyway and stopped by on my way. You are truly unbelievable. You really don't get it, do you? Nope. By the way, why are you so angry? Chill out a little. Because I just realized you stole money from the funeral. I never thought a condolence money thief could actually exist, let alone be in my own family. Not that I ever considered you family, but even for you, this is a new low. Give it back. Now. Sorry, I can't. I'm off to Hawaii and the money's coming with me. Think of it as a loan. I'll pay it back when I've made it big, okay? Made it big? You have the nerve to joke around about this after stealing from my father's funeral? It's outrageous. You've crossed a line, Scarlet. I don't want to see you ever again. Stay away from me and stay away from my family. No worries, sis. This money will keep me going for a while. Anyway, see you around. Or not. <laughs> Whatever. Bye. No, I don't think we'll ever see each other again. Get lost, you selfish, heartless woman. <laughs> it's been a while. Allison, how have you been? <laughs> It's been quite some time since we last met, right? It's crazy how time flies, doesn't it? I've been super busy with life and all, but you know how it is. Anyway, what's new with you? Scarlet? I'm honestly shocked that you're actually reaching out again. I didn't expect to hear from you ever again, especially after everything that happened. Wait, what's with that reaction? <laughs> of course I'm going to contact you. We're family, aren't we? There's no reason for things to stay awkward forever, right? I mean, come on. It's been years now. Surely we can move past all that by now, right? Family. How can you still say that after everything? You've got some nerve bringing that up. Have you seriously forgotten what happened three years ago? Do you even understand what you did back then, Scarlet? It wasn't just some minor thing we can laugh off now. You crossed a line. Oh, come on, Allison. That was so long ago, and honestly, I barely even remember the details. It's all water under the bridge now, don't you think? I mean, life goes on, and I'm moving forward, you know? I'm actually getting married. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> and guess what? We're planning to have the wedding over there where you and Fred live, so you have to come, okay? 
It's going to be so much fun, and I want you guys to be there. Wait, what? You're inviting us to your wedding? You're really serious about this? After all this time, after everything that's happened between us, you're going to ask us to come? Have you even spoken to your brother about this? Does he even know you're reaching out to me? Or is there trouble between you two already? <laughs> Don't be silly. Fred knows, of course. He just hasn't had the time to tell you yet, I guess. Things are great between us, so you don't need to worry about that. Our marriage is perfectly fine, thank you very much. But honestly, I didn't expect you to be so surprised that I'd reach out. It's not like we're total strangers, right? We've had our differences, but come on, it's a wedding. You're not going to hold a grudge forever, are you? Surprised? That doesn't even begin to describe it. Scarlet, I'm stunned. You're seriously inviting us after everything you've done? Honestly, I didn't think you'd ever have the audacity to contact me again. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm pulling a prank or something. Look, I know things were rough, but that's all in the past now. I'm reaching out because I want my family there on my special day. You're a part of the family, Allison, whether you like it or not. So come on, don't make this harder than it needs to be. Be happy for me, okay? You'll come to the wedding, right? And hey, don't forget to bring a generous wedding gift. <laughs> I'm counting on you to make it a good one. Family's got to take care of each other, right? Yeah, I'll come. You don't need to worry about that. I'll be there. Wait, really? <laughs> no way. That is awesome. I was kind of freaking out since Fred hasn't officially RSVP'd yet, so I wasn't sure if you guys would come or not. This really takes a load off my mind. I was trying not to stress about it, but it's been bugging me. <laughs> you? Stressed? I didn't think anything could phase you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Of course I get stressed. I mean, it's my wedding we're talking about here. There is so much to plan, and I just want everything to go perfectly, you know? But now that I know you'll be there, I feel way better. <laughs> just don't forget about that wedding gift, okay? I'm serious. You're family, and I'm expecting something nice. I won't accept anything less, all right? Sure, Scarlet. I'm looking forward to it, too. The wedding, I mean. It'll be... interesting. Hey, you better pick up the phone. What were you thinking earlier? The groom's family is furious, and they've even interrupted the wedding. How do you plan to fix this? Say something. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? Do you even realize what you've done? Showing up to my father's funeral in that Hawaiian shirt? Oh, it's unbelievable. It goes beyond common sense. It's completely outrageous. Fred and my mother are in shock. What? What's wrong with my Hawaiian shirt? Red looks good on me. You're really overreacting. It's not about looking good. This was my father's funeral. Coming in a bright red Hawaiian shirt. Do you think it's a joke? It made my family look like fools. Oh, isn't that just like what you did three years ago? Huh? What are you talking about? You seem to realize that your actions were foolish. So you're aware of how ridiculous they were. And you chose to act that way anyway? Isn't that essentially a form of harassment towards me and my deceased father? No, I, I can't believe you're bringing up something from so long ago. I told you back then that I would get my revenge, didn't I? Wait, are you saying that this is revenge for something that happened three years ago? I'm a person of action. I was surprised that your in-laws decided to join in on this, but you made them look bad too, just like you did three years ago. You vanished and went completely silent after embarrassing them. And now you suddenly decide to have a wedding? It seems like you're just after money. Maybe they couldn't forgive you for that, even if they are your parents. Just because you felt that way doesn't justify your actions. This was my wedding. If you all came all this way, you should have at least congratulated me. Look, I had no intention of celebrating in the first place. What do you mean by that? I haven't forgiven you for what you did at my father's funeral. I have completely severed ties with you. Do you really think I would congratulate you on a wedding? Celebrating a wedding of a lowlife like you? Wait, do you really have to say that? What did I ever do to you? You wore a Hawaiian shirt to my father's funeral. That's it. I never thought you would be this upset for three whole years. That's not the only thing, is it? Have you forgotten that you stole the condolence money? I was young back then. I realized I acted foolishly. I honestly didn't think you would be this angry about it. I'm sorry. Apologies at this point are too late. We're no longer in that dimension of conversation. You know, at the very least, you should apologize to my family and return the money. 
I expected money to come in when I got married. That's why I thought I could enlist my mother's help. Now my family is made to look foolish because of you and the wedding has been interrupted. Can you explain the situation? Oh, I see. You were trying to marry someone just for their money. You really haven't changed, have you? And you tried to trick your mother into saying that your father was an executive at a company? You wanted your family to think you were marrying into wealth, didn't you? That's none of your business. Can you just come back with my family? Just change into something normal, like a suit, and then explain that the whole thing was just a joke? That's impossible. We're far away from you. Huh? What do you mean by far away? Do you really think I wore a Hawaiian shirt for no reason? I did it for the same reason you did three years ago. Are you saying that you're going to Hawaii? Yes. We're celebrating my daughter's birthday with my in-laws and everyone. I never intended to attend your wedding in the first place. But hey, just be grateful I showed up. You were happy to see our faces, right? I can't believe this. You're leaving me behind to go to Hawaii? By the way, what do you mean by daughter? You didn't have a daughter three years ago. I found out I was pregnant shortly after your father passed away. Thanks to that, I'd become stronger. I lost the motivation to chase after you, but it's great that I got this chance. Rest assured, I won't be involved with you anymore. But if you keep trying to steal money from me in the future, this time it won't be so easy. Wait, hold on. If I can just make this wedding work, then returning that money won't be a problem at all. Please, help me ensure that my marriage goes smoothly. I don't want to help you deceive anyone. Maybe you should learn how to live an upright life instead of doing things like that. I think you'd gain a lot more by doing it the right way. But honestly, it doesn't concern me anymore. Good luck with everything. Wait, Allison! I'm really sorry about what happened three years ago. I was foolish, but right now I'm in a real bind. I haven't heard anything from my parents either. What should I do? Can you help me mend things with my family? You're nearby since you're going on this trip, right? They're here, but don't you understand why your parents are ignoring you? Huh? What do you mean? The condolence money you stole from me three years ago, your parents covered it for me. Oh, is that so? You didn't know that? It means you've been blocking out your family all this time. You recently decided to stop blocking them and reached out to me, didn't you? It was a bit awkward at the time. It wasn't done with malice or anything. But I didn't realize my parents had covered it. So what are you angry about? The fact that you can even ask me that shows just how finished you are as a person. I don't think I'll be talking to you again. You should properly repay the people who helped you out and be responsible for your actions. Well then, goodbye. Enjoy your wedding. If you manage to continue it, that is. What am I supposed to do now? You don't understand how desperate I am. My parents won't speak to me and I'm worried they'll just abandon me completely. Can't you just try to help me a bit? I really can't believe you. You act like everything revolves around you, don't you? Do you even care about how your actions affect others? I do care. I've just been dealing with a lot. You don't know what it's like for me right now. I thought that once I got married, everything would finally settle down. Maybe if you had thought about your actions three years ago, you wouldn't be in this mess. You can't just expect everything to magically fix itself. I get that. I know I made mistakes, but can you really just turn your back on me forever? Isn't family supposed to support each other? Family? You cut ties with me when it was convenient for you. You didn't think about how that affected me, did you? It wasn't like that. I just needed time to figure things out after everything happened. And what do you think I was doing? Just waiting for you to come back and apologize? You should have taken responsibility for your actions, but you chose to run away. You don't understand. It wasn't that simple. My life was falling apart. Everyone has their problems, Scarlet. But the way you treated me and my family, it's inexcusable. I know, I know, I was wrong, but can't we just move past this? I really need your help. You can't just erase the past because you're in a bind now. You need to face the consequences of your actions. I am begging you, I don't want to lose my family. I, I can't believe this is happening on my wedding day. And yet, here we are. Maybe if you had thought about how your actions would affect the future, you wouldn't be so desperate now. I'm not asking for much, just a little help to get through this. I promise I'll make it up to you. What exactly do you think you can do to make this up to me? Money? You think that solves everything? I don't know. Maybe just support me? Help me talk to my family? You really think that I'm going to put myself in the middle of your mess again? You don't have to get involved if you don't want to. Just tell me what to say. You need to be honest with them. You need to own up to what you did and apologize sincerely. I can do that. Just please, can you give me one chance? I don't owe you anything. You had your chances and you threw them away. 
But this is different. I'm asking for help, not just to forget everything. Help doesn't come without accountability. You need to realize that first. I know, I know. I'll do anything. Anything? How about you start by confronting your past head-on? You really think I can fix this? You can if you truly want to change. But it has to come from you, not just desperation. I promise I'll do better. Just help me make it right. Not going to happen. Now, good luck with that wedding of yours. So, it turns out that Scarlet wasn't able to get married after all. I figured that would happen. I kind of expected it, to be honest. Apparently, she got caught lying about her parents being wealthy, but it seems that her fiancé was lying as well. Wait, are you saying they were both just after money? Yeah, it looks like that's the case. It's kind of mutual in a way, isn't it? Honestly, as bad as it sounds, they really did seem like a perfect match. <laughs> It does seem that way. In the end, not getting married might have been a blessing for both of them. However, from what my mom said, it seems that this time, Scarlet is genuinely reflecting on her actions. Really? Scarlet is actually reflecting on her actions? Yes, apparently she returned some of the money she had to her parents. She didn't realize how much she was burdening them financially, and it seems like she finally understood. That's surprising. So it seems like she's trying to move forward now? Yes, she moved back in with her parents and has started working. I think she just began her new job, but she even signed a contract promising to repay her parents with the money she earns. Wow, she's gone that far? But considering what happened last time, I guess it makes sense. Apparently she also decided to cut ties with the host club scene. That's a huge step forward. I think so, too. She wants to focus on her future now. She mentioned wanting to apologize for what she did at your father's funeral three years ago. She said she was out of her mind back then. It's in the past now, so it's alright. But it's good to hear that she's realized that. Yeah, both my parents and I feel terrible about how she acted toward you, and we want to make amends. We'll ensure that Scarlet pays back the money and takes responsibility from now on. <laughs> That's a great mindset. I really hope she can stick to that. It sounds like she's finally taking steps to better herself. Yes, she's really committed this time. She understands that it's essential to repay her parents and show them that she's serious about changing her life. It's really nice to see this side of her. I've always believed she could do better. Thank you for your support, Alan. I know I haven't always made the best choices, but your encouragement means a lot to me. Of course. We all make mistakes. And what matters is that you learn from them. I agree. I don't want to keep repeating the same mistakes. I need to start living a life that I can be proud of. Exactly. And as she repays her parents and gets her life back on track, she'll also be able to mend her relationships with them. Yes, I want her to make her parents proud. I also hope she can be a better person and friend to everyone around her. That's a great mindset. Just remember, it's a journey and it might take time. I understand that. I'm prepared to put in the effort no matter how long it takes. That's a spirit. And don't hesitate to reach out if you need help or someone to talk to. I'm here for you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's nice to know I have someone like you by my side. I'll always be here for you, no matter what happens. And I want you to know that I'm really grateful for your support through everything. You deserve it, Fred. Just keep working hard and stay true to yourself. I will. Thanks again, Allison. I'll keep you updated on my progress. I look forward to hearing all about the great things you'll accomplish. <laughs> Scarlet is currently working diligently and is gradually preparing for independence while paying back money to her parents. Compared to the Scarlet from before, she seems to have changed quite a bit. While our lives remain unchanged, my biggest wish right now is for Scarlet and my in-laws to get along well together. After all, spending time together while we're still healthy is what matters most. As I reflect on Scarlet's journey, I can't help but marvel at the transformation she has undergone. It feels like just yesterday when she was still figuring out her path, perhaps a little lost and unsure about the future. And back then, she struggled with balancing her ambitions and responsibilities, often relying heavily on her parents for support. She had dreams, yes, but those dreams felt distant, almost like stars shining in a night sky that seemed forever out of reach. Now, however, 
Scarlet is a different person altogether. It's as if she has taken those stars and started weaving them into the fabric of her reality. She wakes up early, makes her way to work with a sense of purpose, and dedicates herself to her task with an admirable tenacity. Every day, she is one step closer to the independence she longs for. The fact that she is actively working to repay her parents is particularly heartwarming. It shows a level of maturity and responsibility that not everyone can easily embrace. It's not just about the money. It's about the acknowledgement of her parents' sacrifices and the desire to stand on her own feet. The shift in her mindset demonstrates a significant growth that speaks volumes about her character. I remember the days when she would often fret about her finances, living paycheck to paycheck and feeling a sense of helplessness. Now, she has taken control of her life, budgeting her expenses and saving little by little. While my own life remains relatively unchanged, I find solace in witnessing her growth. I often think about how relationships evolve over time. The dynamics between family members can shift, and sometimes it's hard to predict how those changes will affect everyone involved. In our case, I hope that the relationship between Scarlett and my in-laws continues to flourish. Family can be complicated, but it is also a source of immense strength and support. I've always believed that a harmonious family life is essential for overall happiness. As Scarlett embarks on this journey toward independence, it is crucial for her to have a solid support system. My in-laws are warm and welcoming people, and I hope they embrace Scarlett as one of their own. I can only imagine how much she values their approval and connection. The thought of them sharing meals together, exchanging stories, and laughing over silly anecdotes brings a smile to my face. These moments of togetherness can create bonds that last a lifetime. The memories forged during these times become the stories we tell, the lessons we learn, and the love we share. It's vital for all of us to cherish the time we have together, especially as life can be unpredictable. Health in particular is something we often take for granted until it is compromised. I am grateful for every moment spent with family, and I want to ensure that we make the most of the time we have. I often reminisce about my own childhood and the times I spent with my family. Those memories are like treasures, glimmering in the recesses of my mind. I remember the laughter, the stories shared around the dinner table, and the lessons learned through both triumphs and challenges. I hope that Scarlett can create similar memories with my in-laws, memories that will shape her future and provide her with comfort in times of need. As we navigate this journey together, I am determined to support Scarlett in any way I can. Whether it's offering guidance, lending an ear, or simply being there for her during tough times, I want her to know that she is never alone. Independence doesn't mean isolation. It means building a network of support while pursuing one's dreams. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.